Okay, first step is to get the domain name. So I'm on Namecheap.com, and I'm going to go ahead and get how to set up WordPress, and I'm going to get .org. Now, full disclosure, I actually did check to make sure this domain was available before I started recording. Um, in your case, you might have to search a few times before you find something you want. So there it is, available, add to cart. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get it for a year, uh, free who is garden, that's all good. It basically makes my name so that it's not publicly viewable. Uh, check out. Verify a bunch of information. Du, 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 du. Enable who is guard. This is again, it protects my information if I want it to. Uh, use our free name servers, uh, which is this is basically the routing between the domain and the website. But since I haven't set up this website yet, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as using their name servers. And I can come in here later and change it. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. This should all be good. I'll set this to my who, who is. I have a separate email address for that. Save and continue. I'm going to go ahead and check out with PayPal. Waiting for PayPal to load up. Okay, good. The name of their company is Unified Registrar. Hit continue. Okay, we're processing. And bam, the domain is done. So I now own how to set up wordpress.org. Great. So now the next step is we're going to go ahead and procure some hosting for this. Okay, here we are at HostGator again. We're going to go ahead and click on their hosting plans. I'm going to go ahead and get, I'll go ahead and get the baby plan. I think I might want to use more than one domain on this thing at some point. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and go for monthly. Order now. Okay, so I, I already, you can either register a domain directly via HostGator or you can say you already have one. I'm going to go ahead and enter that. How to set up WordPress.org. Continue. Yep, that'll work. Let's see, plug in a username that will take. Plug in my information real quick. Do, do, do. If I could only type quicker. Okay, hit the create account. Gotcha, so we'll hit subscribe. Log into my account. Now you can pay by credit card, obviously. I'm just using my PayPal account because that's I like to do that. Okay, return to hostgator.com. Okay, after subscribing with HostGator with my PayPal account, and I believe they do this for everybody, they want you to verify your account by basically, I think there's a way to email do it, but I also called them on the phone, basically gave them my phone number and they were able to verify the account. It's a little bit of a 
pain in the butt, honestly, but at the same time, what they're doing is verifying that I am a real person, that I actually intended to have this hosting account, um, and it's a way to, uh, to get around potential fraud. There's a lot of fraud out there in the hosting industry, and it's just kind of one of those unfortunate facts. So after that phone call, I got the welcome email, which gave me my control panel login, my username and password, and all the important stuff that I need. So I'm sitting here at my control panel. This is the, uh, the URL that was given to me in my welcome email. I'm going to go ahead and log in real quickly. Okay, now here we are on my control panel account. Now, what we're going to do first, because we registered that domain over on uh, Namecheap, is we need to set up our name servers. So the name servers is basically a the entries that make the domain name point to my website. Until you do this, your domain name is not going to point to your website at all. Uh, so we're going to go down here toward the bottom of the school bar, and it says account information. And you'll see right here, name servers, and I've got two of them there. Now, this information is also in the welcome email, but this is where you can find it in your control panel. So from there, we're going to go over to Namecheap, go over to uh, register or manage my domains, and then log back in. Okay, uh, we're going to go on the side menu. You're going to go to uh, transfer DNS to web host. And then right here, you can say specify custom DNS servers. You're going to plug in the first two. So we're going to go ahead and just simply grab that information. Just copy and paste the first one. Go over to Namecheap, put it in number one. Copy and paste the second one. Put it in number two. Hit save changes. Great. So that's pretty much all there is to that. Um, now, I but the, th the one thing I'll, I'll note on this stage of it is that sometimes the uh, the actual domain name it takes a few minutes for it to transfer over. Um, sometimes it could take a little bit longer than that. Uh, did it do it? I'm not sure where this is coming from, if it's been registered or not, but we're going to find out here shortly. But just a word of warning, sometimes once you, you change your DNS entries, it can take a few minutes for it to circulate around the internet so that your domain name will actually point properly. Until that point, it still might not point to your website properly. While we wait for that domain name to actually uh, have that transfer take effect, I'm going to go ahead and install WordPress here. So back inside the HostGator control panel, you'll see here on the sidebar, it says click install WordPress for your site. So very simply here, WordPress is what you want to use. You don't want to use anything else, in my personal opinion. WordPress is by far the most flexible blog platform out there. The other ones, uh, there's some that are flexible, but they're a lot more complicated, or they're just simply not as flexible. WordPress happens to be the one that I think is the one to use for pretty much anything serious that you want to do online, even if it's just personal blogging. So we're going to go in and click on Quick Install WordPress for your site. Hit continue. We're going to leave that blank because we're not going to put this in a directory. We're going to have this on the main site. So we'll go in and plug in an admin email here. Blog title, how to set up WordPress, first name. Hit the install button. Bam, done. Now, uh, even though it's installed, we're gonna, let's open this in a new tab. Yeah, see, it's not working yet. And the reason is, is because the domain hasn't been, the transfer hasn't taken effect. So what we're going to do is come back once that transfer has taken effect, and I'll show you exactly what we've got. But at this point, we do have WordPress installed. We're simply waiting for the domain to kind of catch up with what we've done here on HostGator. Okay, we're back, and we are at howtosetupwordpress.org, and you can see that rather than that placeholder page, we now are looking at the brand new WordPress-powered 
blog that I set up right in front of you. Now, this is the default theme. There's really not much here going on right now. It just says, hello world, which is quite typical. Now, one thing when you install WordPress is you're going to get an immediate email with the uh, your login information in order to log into your own installation of WordPress. In order to do that, you're going to want to go to the directory on your domain called WP dash admin. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And let me log in using the information that was emailed to me. There we are. We're inside of WordPress. How cool is that? Um, now, there's a lot to learn here inside of WordPress. That, that will be a subject of, uh, you know, a completely different page of this site, actually. Uh, this, this, this site is just basically designed to show you how to set the thing up. Um, but it, it's really easy to figure out, actually. I mean, if you spend a few minutes and, and poke around and maybe watch a few videos that you can find over at WordPress.tv, uh, you can you can learn WordPress pretty quickly. That's the really good news. Um, the first thing you're gonna probably want to do is change the look and feel of it, uh, which is called your theme, and we'll cover that in the next video.